Hey, good evening, folks. What's going on? Air of Carthage here, and welcome to another Total War Warhammer 2 battle. This time, Alariel is perched at a very awkward angle in this strange seat atop the eagle that doesn't look real comfortable. Well, I mean, I would be hanging on for dear life there. Or I don't know, maybe there's some kind of magic that keeps her in her chair. Yes, we have Avalorn here, and the Ever Queen is leading her beloved faction against Norska, the filthy warriors of the north. And um, they're fighting in what looks like Lustria, so I'm sure it makes complete sense. We've got, but hey, it's Warhammer. What makes sense? There's crazy monsters everywhere. Let's actually look at the uh, Norskan army first here, led by Wolfric the Wanderer and his Shaman Sorcerer Lore of Death. And he's got Purple Son of Zerus and Spirit Leech there. And then Wolfric does have his Viking ship. And then he's also got his uh, attack buff and then I believe his debuff that he's got here. Yeah, here's Fight or Die that gives a nice buff, and then Hunter of Champions. He's even got the Sword of Torgald here, which is going to give extra weapon damage for 44 seconds, so he's going to be pretty tanky. It's going to be three Marauders across the front. They are backed up by a Famir Warrior with great weapons, a very deadly unit. There's a Marauder with great weapon on this flank, another on the opposite, and then a Brutes of the Hound. Very, very solid infantry unit with uh, lots of anti-infantry capability. Two Feral Manticore and then we've got the Mist Stalkers on the other side. This is an Armor Sundering. Uh, well, all Femir Warriors are Armor Sundering, my bad. So I'm trying to remember what makes the uh, the Mist Stalkers uh, even better. Oh, because they have the Stalk trait. <laughs> Duh. By the name. And they can Vanguard deploy if you want. Um, we've got uh, two Ice Wolf Chariots here as well. So interesting pick. Really, um, the Femir Warriors are going to be the anti-large component of this Norskan army. They don't have any skirmishing and they might regret that pretty quickly as they see three Illyrian Reaver archers. An interesting pick here. Obviously wanted to keep some of their archers mobile so that if there was maybe mammoths or something else or chariots, makes it more difficult for those to get to because these are much faster and they can skirmish well. We've got Alariel the Radiant and she has brought three of her forest spirit units here. So we've got um, three Dryads, a nice damage dealing unit against low armor. Um, I think they combine well with the Spearmen, which have higher melee defense and slight bit of anti-large. In the back, there are two Phoenix Guard, the pride of Avalorn here. And then we're going to have a couple of archers back here. Um, we've got some, uh, just uh, three units of archers in the back. And they're held back to give a little distance, again, to keep the monsters away. And then Alariel, if we go look at her capabilities, let's just get a look here. we got Star of Avalorn, Arcane Conduit, Earthblood. Faw's Protection. Faw's Protection is an underused spell. It is a very, very useful spell. Shieldstone of Isha. Let's get things moving here and check out what happens in the battle. Now, these these uh, Illyrian Reaver archers here, I think one great target for them could be these Brutes of the Hound, if they can get to it. Shaman Sorcerer doesn't have much armor. He's going to want to keep his distance here. He's going to put a Spirit Leech down. That won't do much to the Illyrian Reavers. Yeah, without, without armor, I mean, that, that Shaman Sorcerer is going to want to keep a fair bit of distance there. Did more than I thought, honestly, the Spirit Leech, but that's still going to use up precious Winds of Magic. Oof, yeah, the Reaver Archer's getting tagged here just a little. Not a lot. But they're getting in, doing the harassment that they need to do. Want to really kind of get the... Uh, get the Norskin player off balance. The Ice Wolf Chariots are kind of fortunate that there's... Not any heavy cavalry present from the uh, the High Elves. I think the High Elves just brought the Halberd units to help deal with the fast movers or the large... Yeah, there's a target on the Brutes of the Hound. Great, great target there. The Femir Warriors just have too much armor. They don't have a shield, but they have a lot of armor. And the Reaver Archers I don't think would do terribly well. I think uh, getting hits in on the Brutes of the Hound makes a lot of sense because they're going to be one of the most capable infantry units here. The rest of the infantry here, not real great. Ooh, look at this, a charge from the Reaver Archers. They can do this. They have decent, you know, decent capability to get in a charge. It's not a massive charge bonus, but light units like this, they can certainly be used in a disruptive manner, as they were here. Feral Manticores have some targets back here, but they're surrounded by Phoenix Guards, so those Manticores will have to be careful. They could try and keep Alariel away from the fight, I don't know if they can afford that much investment, but we'll, we'll see what happens. The Femir Warriors are going to be particularly tanky units, but I just don't see what Norska has other than the uh, the potential to use a Purple Son of Zerus. These two Phoenix Guard are completely untouchable by Norska unless 
that purple son of Zerus does it. Our Lariel does get caught here by the two feral manticore. She is getting damaged badly. She's gonna have to heal herself and get away from this fight as quickly as she can. She may have been trying to hold these manticore here just long enough. Oh, she's back in the air. She's gonna need to get down on the ground away from those manticore. You see the uh, ice wolf chariots just running amok everywhere they can. And a bit of a blobbing here by the uh, Norskins. They're not going to want this, though. They did quickly punch through some of the infantry, but again, I don't know how they're going to deal. And one of these has berserked into the Phoenix Guard, so that Manticore is all but dead. And the Death Sorcerer back here just plowing in with the chariots, trying to get to these archers, and they do get some. The other Manticore is also berserked, but it's chasing Ilariel, who drops... Oh my goodness, it's just brutal. The Star of Avalorn right here, she's going to get healed. Oh no, but she gets knocked by the... Uh, the Mist Stalkers, but the Mist Stalkers in turn getting wrecked by a Phoenix Guard. Alario will likely still live. And that Phoenix Guard has got those Femir Warriors right where it wants them. Spirit Leech there on Alario to try and keep her out. Very aggressive play here by the uh, by the Norskins. Pretty impressive, honestly. This other Phoenix Guard is trying to find its way back into the fight. It looks like it got left behind on a flank. And then uh, Alariel the Radiant's coming in. So the archer's still alive over here, and this is going to just be devastating for Norska. Wolfric the Wanderer is going to be a tanky, tanky unit. He's got 21 kills. If he uses his ship right, he could do a lot of damage, um, especially to the Phoenix Guard, potentially, because they have physical resistance. I think the ship was used back here, actually. So I'm not sure if that was going to be the best placement for it. Here goes another Manticore, and the uh, the fuel tank's starting to run a little bit low here for Norska. They berserked hard in here. There are quite a few of them left, but again, how do they deal with two Phoenix Guard? I just don't think they can. The Chariots can be stopped at least temporarily by Illyrian Reavers using their mass. And with these Archers left, it's going to put uh, Norska in a pretty pretty bad place in life. See here the Phoenix Guard coming in trying to protect these archers, and Wolfric's going to have a nasty time trying to deal with them too. Like I said, his uh, his Viking ship's about his only option, and oh, the Reavers want to come pin him in place, I think. Maybe they're just chasing out the chariots. It could just be that they're chasing out the chariots, but they might try and swamp Wolfric. Yeah, not a bad call. They are going to swamp Wolfric here. Just keep him tied down. Alariel has managed to heal back. And Norska is going to throw in the towel there in a very well-played battle here by the High Elves. Lots of archers, which could potentially deal with mammoths, but three of them were Illyrian Reavers. Makes it a lot more difficult for Norska to deal with. I love the active disruption by those Illyrian Reavers as well of the mainline charge. Just putting in all the extra work and damage before the battle gets started. Doing everything they can to lend a hand to the infantry, which was obviously going to have their work cut out for them. Uh, Norska can hit really hard, and indeed they did. You know, you had these two uh, these two units come in. It looks like this Femir warrior got wasted because it was still alive at the end of the battle, so uh, thrown in the towel there. But, I mean, again, there's just no answer to the Phoenix Guard, so I don't completely blame him. But, I mean, I think the only answer potentially to the Phoenix Guard is the Viking ship from Wolfric. He'd have to get him blob blobbed up or a Purple Sun. But that means you got to get those two units blobbed up, and then in order to do that, he'd probably have to either get lucky or offer some very nice bait. Because, again, Blue Papa here, I think, is actually Dob plays, and I don't think that Dob would probably easily fall for something like that. But that's what your goal would have to be. I like how the two Manticore were used to control Alariel. Um, it didn't quite work because they berserked, but they darn near got her. And that would have been very important. So I think uh, El Padre here had the right idea going with those two manticore and almost pulled it off. You can see the Brutes of the Hound, 91 kills. These guys still had a lot of life left when the battle was resigned as well. So, I mean, they, they are a tough infantry unit, but not going to be able to deal with Phoenix Guard. Um, so some of you uh, may be thinking, ah, he threw in the towel too early. Um, probably a little too early, but he I, there's no way you pull out that win with Alariel alive. And these two Phoenix Guard right there, they are completely untouchable with that healing with this army. You would have had to have something causing ma magic damage or just more armor piercing. Uh, and then Femir Warriors are going to get toasted by those guys too. So a nice pick by uh, Blue Papa. And appreciate the game between these two. Hey, if you all enjoyed the battle, 
Make sure you get up there and hit that like button for me. And then make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell if you want to see more. Uh, if you don't want to see more, then I, I guess you'll just be Xing out of the video and cursing me, uh, maybe under or over your breath, however it works out. <laughs> Feel free either way, but I do hope you enjoyed it and that you want to come back for more. I love making this content for you, and guess what? There is plenty more headed your way, so stay tuned. Air of Carthage, signing out.